of the trees that are out there from this point so that you have time, whether it's two weeks, whatever you need, you know that what's left there is going to be protected property. Right. Those are the three points. Just, but we just, I want to make a clarification because we're talking about so many different things here. One, we're talking about protection of the wood that was downed, correct? Yes. Yes. Two, we're talking about someone immediately coming on site as a part of this project to protect any future mishaps from happening. Well, if, if we're fencing and protecting the trees, if they if they touch a breeder, they will call them on. You don't need to have someone camping out here because we're going to put the fencing up to protect the trees. That, the over so protection. So we are talking about developed. things happening to, to protect from another future mishap of this. Possibly getting a committee together with someone with uh, knowledge in the area to be consulted. And three, the, the, the community approaching us about moving forward with an oak ordinance for yes. this that to advise our supervisor. Yes. Okay, we have, we have a motion on the floor. Please vote. Okay, we have a motion on the floor to inform this committee. May I just make one Wait. comment? I think it should be a good time since you're putting this together to kind of look upon this as the foundation for other projects besides this we one because we all know there's explosions right around the corner so so we don't have to show up every month over the same thing not that that's going to be what you all come up with but as a foundation for a more widespread since we have nothing in Kern County maybe we need to be the spark for the light because I think we're idiots up here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. we got a motion on the floor. Huh? Hold on, we got a motion on the floor to form a committee in regards to the issues that have been brought up tonight and, and to help formulate and come back and help formulate procedures for protecting the oaks and dealing with the, the word issue and, 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 and everything else that we've brought up. Now, that being the case, any discussion by the board on this? That, that's what I wanted to clarify, is that this committee will, I mean, they're yeah. assisting us by putting a hold on things. The committee will discuss how we coordinate to save the wood, uh, how we'll protect the future project, and then eventually we maybe come back to this board and say, let's talk about future ordinances yes. for Kern County. Yes, and, and Linda specifically requested that a member of the committee, a mem member of the community, as well as from the county, and that way we can make you come back with a proposal. Well, I, I would actually like maybe more than one uh, member of this community. Um, so potentially, and uh, Max, you have something to say. I would like your input. Well, okay, I'd like to participate in the committee. B, I would also like this motion to include some discussion of how we can make this library um, pedestrian friendly. I would like all of you as a committee, before you leave tonight, to walk down Encino Trail and tell me that, that, that the design of this library is, is good. Okay, I can no longer walk to my park. Okay. I, I understand and, where you're coming from. And the only reason, okay, the only reason that we have waited until now to bring this up is because we were assured that our oak trees were going to remain. All right, that so, was why that wall had to be there. So, any clue on the board that want to participate? And the committee? And, and who else? Who's Stacy? And we, and we have, do we have... Richard, please. Richard. Richard. Richard? Oh, excuse me, just a second. We have somebody else going in the so committee? Max, and Max? Yeah. Max, understanding it's concerning the oak issue. That's fine. I mean, it's right concerning the oak issue. I understand that. The access issue is right. I, I understand, but this is concerning the oak issue. Can, okay? Fine. You know, the other one's another another issue that would be yeah. that would be yeah. on 30 or 40 projects in the oak Okay, any further discussion? Uh, and Mark, who from the camper group would be? I want to get trees. Yeah, then it'll be me from the camper I'm not over the project. I'm not over this project. This is Mark, Mark's uh -huh. project. But in terms of trees and that kind of thing, I, I'd be the Construction there. issues would come to me, tree issues would come to me. Okay, all right. And, and if they just, impact each other, call us both. Yeah, and you know, another thing, another another tool that, that everyone here has at, at their disposal is the Parks Commission. And, and the Parks Commission, I know, you know, uh, meets sometimes in the communities and sometimes it's down in Bakersfield. But that Parks Commission, is your is your pathway to getting something approved to the board of supervisors? The parks commission usually and we've taken several things over the years through the parks commission to the board in hopes that that they would support the commission's recommendation. You have a representative here locally. I'm not sure who it is. But Richard Walter. Okay. Okay. Any other discussion? We need to get that discussed right now. All those in favor? 
Eye. Okay. Can we have eyeballs on the, the down wood tomorrow morning <laughs> and the location of where that wood is? Your eyeballs, their eyeballs? Who's, who's um, we've got two volunteers. I, well, I, I want well, to see pictures of it. Linda, you're already I, I communicated with Curtis on Monday and I communicated with R Richard on Monday and they agreed to work together to... I talked to Curtis before the meeting. He said nobody could have access to it. So. Said what? Nobody could have access to it. Because of an insurance issue about getting on the right? <coughs> yeah, because the county told them well, nobody was to have access yeah, Well, it was a kind of a semantic thing. I was holding it to tell Linda that it wasn't going to go anywhere. Okay. They thought. If you just call them and say it's okay. They didn't know you. I heard somebody yes. Okay. okay. Uh, okay. One last clarification. Okay. Linda, the easiest number to get you at 245-3635. You got it. I'll call you. Thank you. Right. After you talk to Curtis and okay. get the okay. Because so we talked to Mike. One, one quick comment. Ma'am, go ahead. I just have a question. Are we still looking at one tree for one tree? We're going to get two trees. We're, we're, two we're talking about the whole. That's what we're going to bring it out. Because there isn't anything set in stone okay. in Kern County like there is in LA County right. ratio so a and ratio. I think that's that's what we're looking for to see what kind of proposal we can come up. You know, with. everything can come up. Yeah, you need to plant the park. I, the, the next piece of this next too to get the young trees coming up as these continue to go. The American Cultural Resources Monitoring hasn't been discussed. When you're discussing things in the committee, and I'd like to be on that committee, we have a monitor, he's, he's gone now, but a Chumash representative, who says there has been no monitoring of the American Cultural Resources. So that needs to be addressed as well. You know, it wasn't a big oak that fell, but I'm sure that there are things lost. Okay. Okay, um, obviously, obviously we just touched on a few things here tonight. I think I think it's it's a beginning. I, I think obviously I think there, there's a, a larger issue here about about oak ordinances and things. And I think this is a, a start. But we do have a regular meeting that we have to go back to, and and so I I appreciate your willingness to come up here, Matt. Um, I've got your card. We're going to get the contact information from everybody here, and we will get it to you so everybody can end up you know communicating and setting up and and uh, coming up with these. Uh, uh, policies and everything until we get something said it's done uh, down the road. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You know, forward to thank it's always welcome having you here. Uh, Bob, I appreciate you coming up and the information.